Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, when you're in the Dakotas, you deal with drifting snow sometimes. Big snow drift on the edge of the cattails. Get to the side of it, or this side of it, and it's somewhat manageable. A lot of snow in here. So right here, the cattails had kind of necked down, and oh it, it was kind of tight here. So there was a lot of blown snow from the from the field side as well as from the slough edge side. Average snow depth was up to my knees, sometimes at my waist, or even higher if you ventured into the wrong spot. But we did end up getting our first bird in here. Catch him up. Whew. Deep snow out here, boys. Shies. Fetch him up, Bolly. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Good job. Good job, kid. Here you go, guys. On the board. All right. Once we got past that neck down area of cattails, got a little better. You just got to get past these little drifts here. And then once we were inside, probably 12, Man. anywhere from 10 to 16 inches of snow, I would guess. Seen a lot of hens here. And oh yeah. Good job, Shies. And a couple of hands. Man, are we getting hen to death? Took us a bit of walking, but once we finally got to this group of birds right here, we were able to get on our second rooster of the day. Oh yeah, rooster. Dang it. Man. Okay. There we go. Right there. Got him. Hunt dad, guys. Hunt dad. Boy, Al, you got him? You got him. Nice job, kid. Here you go. Got out another one. Beautiful. Nice older rooster, nice spurs. All right. Got him. Nice job, Shiloh. Catch she was over there on point. I didn't trust her. <laughs> trust the damn dog. She get it? She's got it. Come on, Jack. 
Get that bird. Hang on to him. Hang on to him, Shays. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Beautiful South Dakota rooster. Nice job, Shays. Good boy, Holly. Well, that was a lot of work. <laughs> Some of them cattail drifts are probably four or five feet high, you know, right at the edge of the cattails where you got to get into the cattails. Once you get to the other side, you know, you can walk them, but it's that drift out here in the Dakotas that anybody that's hunted out here knows exactly what I'm talking about. And that was, uh, that was definitely some work. Three beautiful South Dakota roosters. End of the season, I don't want it to end. I know none of us do. Um, this will be the last time that I get out Got a couple days left of, of the year and we're gonna we're gonna work hard and see what we can do and just enjoy the weather because we're supposed to have really nice weather for the next couple of days and um, yeah just just enjoy the uplands like we all do right So I started day two out with my really good friend Mick. We were walking down to get to the end of this chunk of cover so we'd have the wind in our favor and the birds started piling out of some cut fields on the other end. So if you're watching this on a computer screen or a big screen, you look along the horizon, you can actually see all these birds coming through. Basically, they're all landing down in the other end of this piece that we're going to walk. It's one of the things I love about late season South Dakota pheasant hunting, but then the trick is trying to get close enough to them to actually get a shot at one. Touch them up, guys. Oh, girl. That's your bird. Good job, girl. There we go. Nice job, kid. There we go. Late season rooster. Got lucky enough to get one to sit just long enough. That was a fairly close shot too. Nice job guys, let's go. Got him. Touch him up guys. Bring it up, bird kid. Here she comes. Good job. All right. Cattail madness, huh? I just had another one take off over here, too. So after going in different directions for a little while, Mick and I met back up. Well. He ends up getting a shot at this bird, and if you watch on the second shot, he gets a piece of this one. We watched that bird fly over towards that tree line and then he hooked to the right and kind of down the edge of that tree line for a little ways and we went after him. So Mick and I literally were looking for this bird for five, six, seven minutes down here in this corner. 
and Mick was kind of just standing in, in one spot while Rexy was kind of moving around and I shut my camera off nature calls so uh, I shut my camera off turned around and all of a sudden I heard a bird flush out from behind me over by Mick and he ended up shooting and we ended up getting that rooster and Rex had that bird in his mouth for a second before it got out and flushed that bird did not want to move right there I was standing right here He's right in there Look at, check these spurs out. Oh, look at the spurs on that one. I don't shoot many, but when I do, <laughs> I make them count. <laughs> Some are some nice spurs. Go oh, boy, I, Rexy. I shot him with the boss. Did you get him with the boss? The boss hog. <laughs> I need one more now. What's going on in there? Let's He's see what hiding. we got in here. Just hiding in there. Just where he was hiding? Yep. I don't see any blood. But you know what? Even if it wasn't, we followed up on that bird, and if it was, it's right there. Yep. Don't you agree? You know, we could have just said, ah, we're never gonna get that bird, right? Anytime I ever see a bird hit like that, I go after him. More times than not, the dogs will recover it for you, and it ends up being a good ending. She's acting off a birdie. So is he. Get ready. You see any fresh tracks? Oh yeah. Nice shot, brother. <laughs> that a boy. Boss me, bitch. Boss. boss. Me. <laughs> I'll give you a boss. Here you go. <laughs> awesome. Here, Rex. Come on, Rex. Oh, boy. Oh, she's a boy. That a boy, Rexy. Come here, buddy. Come here. There you go. Come Good up. kid. Come here. You can sit right there if you want. Can you sit? Oh, what a good boy. That is a prize of all for a Labradoodle. This is a nice, good black Labradoodle, we call him. <laughs> That's a good boy, Rex. Thank you. Good boy. That's good for me. Nice job, Mick. Day three. Well, so much for the great weather. But sometimes you just got to take what the Dakotas will give you. Good job, Shies. Good job, Ollie. Here you go. Well, for sure in that one. Beautiful rooster and the cats and the snow. Met back up with Mick, and we got out a bird on the back side of this property here. I think we got a few more in the end of this. We did. Good oh boy, Rex. And again. Nice. Lost a hog that Here, Here's the BB I hit him with. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those white spurs with the black tip. It's pretty cool, huh? There's a beaut. Uh, All right. We got to hunt together here. Yes. We might still have a bird right here. I'll watch another hen go out. Maybe they stayed, huh? Mick and I split up after that again. Dogs and I took a little drive over to this piece. Got him.
Come on, Trey. You got him? You got him. <laughs> Good job, kid. Good job. There we go. What a beautiful rooster, huh? So much fun in the so much fun in the snow and the cattails. Hey guys, taking a break from the cold and the snow. It's actually starting to clear off a little bit. Um, Stop snowing, it's blowing a little bit, but it's not too bad. The last hour should actually be pretty good. The only thing missing from the golden hour here was the sun. Ended up being a great last walk though. Had a boy, Mick. Nice job, Rexy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Cattail madness, huh? Cattail madness in a soft mouth. Right on. Right on. It was all Mick on this walk as he picked up the last two birds of the day. That a boy, Mick. All right. Back, fetch. There it is. There it I just is. Just seen the redhead sticking up. Good boy. That a good boy. <laughs> here. Oh, that a good boy. Yeah, right there. What a good boy coming in the snow. Go. Can you fit like a good boy? <laughs> you are such a good boy, aren't you, you Rexy boy, boy? Huh? Boy, that's nice job. All right, Thanks, Mick. Jim. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it. I didn't really have much to do with it, but. <laughs> so the last day started out six below, but the weatherman said it was going to warm up to about 10 to 12, which is doable, and we ended up getting into a cackling rooster about 150 yards into the first walk. Good girl, that a girl, kid. <laughs> Bring me that rooster, kid. Nice job. You hold on to that now. That a girl. Shiloh with a really good point on a rooster here. I end up taking a shot at this bird, and I, it had to have had a really light load. You can actually see my wad and BBs come out of the gun if you, if you watch closely. What was that? The only thing I could figure is the shell was just a little light on powder, maybe. I don't believe those BBs went more than 60. 70 yards at the most. Hand. So after that we ended up getting into a ton of hands. I like all those hand flushes, especially this time of year. It always gets me hopeful for spring. I think it was a hand. Wow. Wow. Okay. That 
was all hands. Every single one of those was a hand. I think. All I could do is sit there and look. <laughs> I couldn't pick a rooster out of there. If there was one, I don't think there was. Wow. Oh, that was cool. Then when I finally do see a rooster. Ooh. I end up shooting two, three feet behind it. That's on. Oh, that's too bad. Nice two and a half. Maybe three and a half year old, I don't think so. Nice two and a half. So the last spot we got to, actually the last spot of the year for me, if you're watching this on the computer again or, or on the big screen, you'll see a lot of birds getting up in these cattails out in front of us, off to the side of us. There was a pile of birds in here. That's rope chase. I didn't hit that bird all that well, but the dogs did make short work of it, thankfully. Holy cow. Got him, Chase? Got him, kid. Did you get him? Hunt dead. Hunt dead, Chase. Hunt dead. Hunt dead. You get him? You get him, Shies? Hey, whoa, you got him. All right. Here we go, Shies. Well, we are in that one today. I gotta say, I have no idea how many birds are here. They're still getting up on here. We didn't walk a whole lot further than we got on our last bird of the year and a cackling rooster at that. Got him. Hunt dead, guys. Hunt dead. Here you go, Shies. Shies, here. Here, Shies. Shiloh, here. Is that your bird? <laughs> you earned that one today, didn't you, girl? Huh? Unbelievable. I don't know if I've seen that many birds in one spot in a long, long time. Very cool. Come on, Chase. Come on, Ollie. We got to get out of here. Oh. Ended up being a pretty good trip. Very grateful to be able to spend the time with the dogs and grateful to end a trip with a really good friend like Mick and, of course, Rexy the Black Lab. Thank you.